Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. I am available for personals. That information is in the description. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you for loving, guiding, and protecting me. Please allow me to connect to the collective sign of Virgo and give guidance and advice to those who need it. Also, please surround me with the protective white light of the highest frequency and only allow positive energy into my space. Amen. 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 Hey, Virgo royalty gang gang. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves because I am. Okay, let's get into your twin flame reading. Let's bring in the posy vibes. Okay. So I went back and I watched Aladdin. And here is what I'm going to incorporate into this reading. So Aladdin thought that he had to pretend to be somebody that he wasn't to get with Jasmine. Jasmine just wanted somebody, 111. <laughs> Jasmine just wanted somebody who was true and authentic to themselves because she was true and authentic to herself. To herself so she was like she had so many suitors right and they were all rich okay um but aladdin wasn't and so here it is aladdin's like okay well maybe i gotta be like them so i can get with her and jasmine's like no you don't gotta be like them to get with me um and see and then we have genie okay there was a lot of blues and a lot of reds and that stuck out to me as well so then we have Jeannie, to me, which represented the throat chakra, right? Speaking your truth, being your most authentic self, being able to express it. Um, that represent, to me, the throat chakra being shut down, okay? Um, in the end of Aladdin, we see that um, Jafar wanted to become a genie because he was like, wait a minute, well, this genie has more power than me, so... I want that because I want all the power, right? He didn't know that having that kind of power also came with limitations. Um, yeah, hands down is this like a divine masculine, divine feminine journey right here in this movie because it shows what they both had to go through on each side in order to make it to each other, right? He had to go and discover himself and she had to, you know, go take a leap of faith because she didn't want nobody telling her what to do, when to do, how to do it, right? Some people think that that life is all that until they realize, no, a lot of times some people are under control, what to eat, how to eat, when to eat, what to dress, what time to be in. Like, she didn't want that anymore. She wanted... She wanted to be free to express herself. To She wanted to be free to express her most authentic self with that. So here it is. Um, Aladdin's like, well, maybe she's not going to like my most authentic self. And here it is at the end. She fell in love with his most authentic self, regardless of the things that he had. 333 on the recorder. All right, it's getting windy out here, but let me get into this reading to be blown away but that's what I've gathered um while I was watching it and so and then they were on the magic carpet ride and they were singing a whole new world right there's a shift we'll get into it though you are so different from everyone around me sunny do not You stand out, period. It's nothing, whether male or female, it's nothing you can do about it. You stand out. Let me tell you how I laid in the sun and, oh my goodness, like, talk about a tan. I ain't trying to be fresh, but I got burnt. Ooh. I'm blocked. So this person feels like you spiritually blocked them 444 on the recorder. I can't let go of you. This person can't let go of you. They're like, okay, well, I can easily replace Virgo. <laughs> He's like, she, yeah. okay. I can't make a decision. This person can't make a decision. 
because it's like they're so used to having to be they're so used to having to fit the mold wear a mask and then they meet you and they're like wait a minute i don't have to wear a mask no you don't have to wear a mask boo boo emotions overwhelming this person's not really a, they're not really good with their emotions okay at all at all they don't like being vulnerable at all vulnerable who why do i feel this way and on the bottom you are too nice i don't deserve your kindness oh you've been there for this person you've been there for this person they're like you're just too nice you know i don't deserve your kindness and your forgiveness we have funeral as I split the deck and under pressure. Let's get into your spread and I'm going to clarify with the, with the tarot. Cards, please don't go away. I should have got out here earlier. I'm going through a shift and my, I don't know. It's like a lot of dense energy is coming up to be released. So if you feel like fatigue or you know kind of tired that's because we're going through some changes this per this person is really seeing your true colors at first they had a false narrative about you okay they thought you were one way but once you two separated this person realizes your true colors reckless love and sex and so on um you felt like on a spiritual level you may have blocked this person and on a sexual level as well we have shady so this person feels like you may feel like this person has a sex addiction 7-eleven on a recorder that's like the number of god for me you may feel like this person has a, a sex addiction and this person may feel like because you're holding back that energy that you're being shady. They can't let go of you though. Round and round, cycles, triggers, and lessons. Yeah, they can't make a decision. So there's like, but Virgo, whether divine masculine or divine feminine, you're just like, well, I have to heal on. I have to grow on. I have to vibe on. I have to, yeah, massive regret. This person's in massive regret. They also may regret, like, pushing you away. On the bottom, we have spiritual chaos, ego death, downward spiral, and spiritual awakening. Some of you, you were a catalyst for your twin's awakening, and they just couldn't make a decision, and it you triggered them on a spiritual level, on a mental level. Sex addiction. But here's the thing, that's clarifying, why do I feel this way? They're addicted to you. Closing this cycle. Okay. You definitely have somebody reflecting there's somebody you lose and sleep here, either you or them, and then there goes this my way, highway card. I'm so used to being controlling. Backstab, pain, cheating, deception, mind games, and love bombing. So some of you were being love bombed by a karmic 9-11 on a recorder. That's like an emergency number for me, so. So somebody may have been left on red by a karmic psycho, crazy ex obsessed, won't let go. Jafar. <laughs> feeling like shit. So you left somebody feeling like shit here. Let me get the tarot, man, before it get too windy. The sun is going down pretty fast. Like I said, I should have got out here earlier. But I at least wanted to get out here, dang nabbit. All right, 
let's get the tarot on this. Somebody's <laughs> crazy ex obsessed won't let go. I can't let go of you. So automatically, <laughs> somebody's karmic. It's like, um, the nine of cups reverse and also when i was watching aladdin um the genie with the lamp to me also rep the represented the nine of cups because he said something he was like i'm a genie um i am a wish fulfillment lamp so the nine of cups upright usually talks about wish fulfillment so something may have happened here where um, you realize something wasn't your wish fulfillment, right? Like you're growing past something. You realizing that something is not for you. 11-11 on the recorder. We have the Six of Swords reverse. But there is somebody that doesn't want to let go here. But there was some deception, some cheating, some mind games, some love bombing. It was all these things involved, right? I should have picked a different angle, but... Y'all be alright. A little dark up here, but that's okay. That's okay. Maybe my body just wants to glisten in the sun. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Clarifying running. So it's like you knew that there was a situation you were in that was very chronic. And you're like, I no longer want to be tied to it because I have a new start coming. A whole new world. A new start. When Jeannie got released, that was the releasing of the throat chakra. And them two going off on a carpet represented them being able to fully express their most authentic selves together. 12-12 on the recorder. Three of Wands. Yeah, like you wanna... That's why this movie is like playing in my mind the way it is. It's like, I love nature. She was like, I don't wanna be controlled. I don't wanna be told what to do, you know? Um, Jafar wanted all the power, right? He was like, okay, I can marry Jasmine and then I'm gonna get rid of Jasmine and her father. So Jafar represented the karmic, okay, and Aladdin was the twin. Maybe the cold movies more often. The sun card reverse Leo energy. This person, you are their sunshine, like, but they can't let you go. They they can't let you go. They can't let you go. Queen of Cups reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this person could have been very manipulative. Let me get out here. It's beautiful out here. I mean, I was out here early. I fried my freaking skin. Like, look. I had to get them downloads. Y'all already know. I'm here for it. The Ten of Swords reverse, all these reversals. So this is telling me you ever, the card ain't come out, but I promise you there was magic involved. The Five of Pentacles reverse. Round and round, no closure, no contact left on red. So some of you, you're, you're, you're coming out of a, a toxic situation. Psycho. Jafar was psycho, you know. And when he had the staff, right? And he was like, um, he was he had the staff and he was like, I will marry your daughter. And Jasmine's dad was like, But you're so old. <laughs> Yo. He's like, but you're so old. The Knight of Swords, all these reversals. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But there was somebody that was playing mind games with somebody. Let me twist and shuffle this. What the fuck are these reversals? 
You, like, nah. You saw the game. Three of Cups. You saw the game, though. Lots of reds. Lots of blues. Lots of these colors as I was watching um, Aladdin. Still ain't help nothing. I'm sorry, y'all. Hopefully, you got your, your snacks and your munchies and stuff. There we go. Still, or do I got? It? I got a little fire pit thing over here. I need to set it up. Some of that light. 1616. Yeah, spirits light. Get some of that light. Get some of that light on you. Alright. Jeez. All these reversals. Eight of Wands reverse. So somebody's overwhelmed. Somebody feels like they owe you an apology. But they're not talking. This person's not good with their emotions. Nine of Swords and the outcome. Feeling like shit. So somebody feels like shit. Possibly for the way they handled you. They may have mishandled you, okay? Page of Swords reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, MG. Lots of air sign. There's Leo. We have the Knight of Wands on the bottom. This could have been, yeah, again, this person, this karmic, they were 1717 on the recorder. This karmic, they were addicted to your light. They were addicted to your energy. It was your spiritual energy. It was your leash. It was your life force, okay? And for some of you, you decided to take that back. Understand this is not something to play with because your, your uh, sexual energy is tied to your spirituality. So you, you really have to be careful with that. twin is going to come out but right now um, somebody's karmic just popped right out here love language affirmations loving words hold great power fearless love a courageous leap into the unknown with the three of wands so this is telling me Somebody's headed towards fearless love. They're like, I don't want anything less. If it ain't fearless, I ain't fucking with it. Magnetism. There's a gravitational pull to each other. This karmic has a very, um, they're pulled to your light, to your energy here, okay? You really have to be careful. I don't know who I'm reading for, but you really have to be careful with your life force. Material attachment. Too much focus on visible trappings. Don't, all I can say is, don't lose sight of who you are. This person, they really can't make a decision, but this is the karmic. Now, I'm trying to get the twin out here. I'm trying to. Falling in love. Sudden feelings that this is the one. You have an upset. You have an obsessed ex here that feels like you're the one. You may not even want this person. I don't even really get that you want this person. You're closing the cycle. If this is you with a karmic or you're leaving a karmic environment, perfect match. You complete each other in the most harmonious ways. 
Every card on here has a, a couple. And I'm seeing the blue chakra. I'm just seeing a chakra lit up 2020 on the recorder because it's important that you're in a connection where you're able to have um, freedom of authenticity and freedom of expression. Open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all, let it in. Yes, it is the highest frequency on this planet. Um, that's the whole purpose of Star Seeds and Lightworkers 2040 on a recorder is because we're here to anchor in light. What I've noticed on my own spiritual journey is that I've had to transmute so much darkness, but it's worth it because I have to hold more light. Does that make more sense? I have to be able to, the more darkness I transmute into light, the more light I can hold. And the more light I can hold, the more I can help the planet raise her frequency. You understand? Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual ecosystem. It's a spiritual ecosystem. Um, let me see. So right off the bat, some of you could be having an Aladdin story outcome, whole new world, a new start. Let me see, I'm gonna, um, take a look at your twin. I thought your twin was going to pop out automatically. The karmic did, if this is your reading. Decisions, y'all. You know how it is. Twenty-two, eleven. When you a reader, decisions. I'm like, mm. these two decks. I see what your twin wants to say. You got your karmic feeling like shit, though. The karmic or the toxic person, they usually they they want they want power. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because it's not a bad thing. I didn't realize G-O-D stand for gold oils and drugs. Gold oil and drugs. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk. So, even though, I, even that's what I witnessed in the movie, right, with um, Aladdin and Jasmine, she's like, are you the boy from the market? Tell me who you are, right? And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. But then when she mentioned Abu after the carpet ride, he, he, he folded. Man, there's, a lesson, there's lessons in that movie. And now we see why Disney is going wrong now, right? Because those lessons, those lessons aren't there. Those are valuable lessons. Please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. Two communication cards. So this person, your twin wants, you, I'm, I'm not telling you to. Please don't take it like that. I promise you I'm not telling you to. I'm praying you'll come back after everything that's happened between us. I worry that you won't forgive me and allow me another chance. They hurt you. 24-24. They hurt you. I need you to trust me and believe I'm working toward union with you. What did Aladdin say in the movie? Do you trust me? And for many twins, that's all you want. Somebody to trust. Good goodness. Somebody to trust with your heart, with your frequency, with your vibration.
and you really can't reach out for some of you you're like i'm in no contact with my twin you know we're both growing however and you can't reach out to this person like where i'm at in my journey i can't reach out i'm not reaching out to a karmic or my twin like <laughs> our energy is stagnant triggers sometimes happen to break the stagnancy and help the energy flow again so again not only have you triggered a karmic but you triggered your twin if you know the law okay the law of assumption be careful what you manifesting out here don't be manifesting no well, I can't tell you what to manifest and what not to manifest, but just be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. Love like ours can change the world, and that's what's supposed to happen. Your love is supposed to change the world. Many are called, few are chosen. And guess what? <laughs> Mission. Just like you, I'm always doing some form of mission. My energy and wisdom supports those around me. I'm getting bit up just for y'all. Can't tell me I would love y'all. <laughs> All right, let me get some tarot on these messages. Trust. I actually like this deck. I may go live later. Depends. I right, get my vote, my Virgo parties on and pop in. Ain't no party like a Virgo party because a Virgo party don't stop. Gaining momentum. So, a family legacy. So, you and your twin together are going to build together and leave a family legacy. Okay, um, we have the Eight of Wands, and so there may be fast communication coming in about some things like, just remember they're not good with their emotions like that. Over and over, Eight of Coins, reverse. You're like, I'm tired. Twenty-seven forty-seven. That might mean something to somebody, but King of Wands reverse unpredictable. This person has been unpredictable, okay? And so you may be in this energy of again healing. Queen of Cups, creative idealist. This person sees you as a creative idealist. And one thing I realized too, um, there was a lot of, um, another representation was Aladdin, to me represented a divine masculine who wasn't awakened to his divine feminine yet. He wasn't awakened to his divine feminine until he met Jasmine. Then he didn't experience magic yet until he met Jasmine. And that's when he had to go and get the lamp and he got the carpet and and the lamp so all of this is divine feminine energy to me but divine masculine energy comes into play when it's action oriented right again divine masculine he was he was a mover he was a shaker he did what he had to do in the movie he did what he had to do that's that action. Divine masculine energy is taking action. Better times ahead. This person is praying for you. Your twin is praying for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, 29, 29 on the recorder. This person is praying for you. They love your creative endeavors. Whether male or female, okay? Good things take time. So your twin is like, good things take time. I need you to trust me. And, and that's what this boils down to. Like, do you trust your twin? Yes or no? Feminine power. Empress reverse. Taurus energy.
and divine feminine energy is attracting right you don't chase i don't ch i don't chase i attract that's the divine and uh, divine feminine energy feminine power and so you have to trust the universe god source energy that everything is going to work out for your good and everything is going to work out in divine time in 3030 on another quarter the two of wands lacking a strategy okay so i'm getting this connection lacks a spiritual strategy okay um this relationship is supposed to lead by example and change the world And the energy is stagnant. Because twins, yo, twins trigger the shit out of each other. 555 on my phone. And another thing that's happening, I notice a lot of um, twins are, excuse me, merging with their higher self. Okay, 31, 31 on the recorder. So twins are merging with their higher selves. And when you merge with, with your higher self, instead of you always seeing angel numbers, um, and you like, oh, when I see this number, I got to do this or do that, numbers will start to conform to you. That's something I noticed. Numbers conform to you. I'll break it down later, but... If you understand the angel numbers, I play with them. I I, I play with I play with angel numbers. <laughs> Romantic gesture. So even though the energy is stagnant right now, th this person may have a lack of strategy. Um, this person is going to make a romantic gesture. Okay. Many possibilities. The seven of cups. And so remember in the in the movie when they went off, um, the possibilities was endless. 32, 32 and a quarter. The possibilities were endless when they came together. They they weren't limited. They became limitless. The whole movie of Aladdin was about limitations versus being limitless. Knight of Wands swept off your feet. The sun, radiant energy. Like, you bring light to this person. You bring light and sunshine to this person's life. But I'm hearing that same old phrase. Um, sometimes people don't realize a good thing until it's gone, right? Thirty-three. Thirty-three minutes in. I'm gonna finish out with this deck. I need to bring the oracle cards outside. I've been outside all day. And I burnt myself to death. I had to get them downloads though. I had to get them. Okay. From friends to lovers. So maybe your twin was like a friend. Y'all were just friends at time at one time respect boundaries this is going to be somebody that respects your boundaries your twin is somebody that respects your boundaries okay this person at one time thought that you weren't for them no. <laughs> no hold on let me do this real quick i gotta get off of here give and receive so there was no equal give and take when it came to this connection because this person was confused about this connection. It's about to get windy. Reaching out. So this person plans to reach out, okay? And then we have missing you and an outcome. This person misses you dearly. And on the bottom, we have options. So know that divine feminine or divine masculine, like you have options coming in just like in the movie when Jasmine, she had many suitors. She had all these suitors, but guess who she wanted? She wanted Aladdin. That says a lot. Mutual feelings. 
teamwork. You are ready. Know your worth. Yeah, so you have to know your worth. You have to know your worth. Your twin realizes your worth. Okay. And they are missing you. I'm going inside and record. I got cards flying. Well, Virgie Virgies, my Virgaliciousness. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.